What's up, guys? This is Derek Kirby with the Dallas Prospect, and it is an especially early recording session this morning. It is about 8.15 as I sit down to record this. And uh, stateside, the Slovenia versus France game has come to an end. France is now the one in 17 and one. If you don't know exactly what I mean immediately, that is Luka Doncic's international play record with Slovenia. France is now the first blemish on that record as France escapes in a nail biter, just an utter gut wrencher for Slovenia here. France gets away 90 to 89 thanks to, as you see there in the picture beside me, Nicholas Batum's block on Propolich in the final seconds. There's about three seconds, two and a half, three seconds left in this snapshot as he blocks the shot off the backboard. This would have put Slovenia in all likelihood. France would have had one more shot, uh, but would have put Slovenia in the gold medal game against the United States. Instead, France now moves on to that game, and you will get a showdown between two countries who have never medaled in the Olympics for the bronze medal game, which should be very interesting in its own right. You have Australia and Slovenia. Obviously, it's Slovenia's first Olympic run, but Australia is a damn good team as well. Like They put the U.S. on their heels early on, and it really took KD kind of taking over for that narrative to flip. So neither team, neither country wants to go home with nothing after how good of a run they had here. And it's going to come down to whether or not Slovenia in particular, I think, can rebound from this because this this is another heartbreaker. In this game, Luka Doncic records just the third triple-double in Olympics history and the first since LeBron James in 2012. Pretty impressive stuff there. This was a very physical game. You saw France try to get physical and really junk up the game a little bit, try to get under Luka's skin. But this is this is an incredible French team. Like This is a very good team. Not just Evan Fournier, not just Rudy Gobert. Like This is a pretty damn stacked France. And it really showed here. Now, France has won the last two games as well. Just a note for the gold medal game real quick. France has won the last two contests against Team USA. So something to keep in mind as they head to that final now. But in this game, France throws multiple bodies at Luka, gets physical. Luka didn't have a good shooting day. He really, in terms of his shooting, that first game, that coming out party with 48 points was really peak for him. And he kind of stepped back after that but he was still very effective in every game still rebounding well assisting well he had 18 assists in this game and in the end you have an opportunity for the game winner to come not from Luca because France forces the ball out of his hands they basically bracket him force him he makes the right play on this pass that leads to the the Batum block on Propolich Luca, they're not going to let him go left. They know he likes to go left and step back for three. So they force him to the middle, send the second defender helping hard. Luca makes the right play uh, to Propolich, passes to him. Propolich has a straight line to the basket, even gets Batum on his back hip. It looks like he's going to have an uncontested layup with less than three seconds left to lift Slovenia to the gold medal game. But... Batum has tremendous length and athleticism and kind of like you see a lot with his teammate Rudy Gobert, he recovers well and he swats it off the backboard. It's a pretty emphatic block. The picture here doesn't necessarily do it justice. There is good velocity on this ball coming off the glass and uh, it's an utter heartbreaker for Slovenia. I know people want to look at it and say, hey, Luca should have taken this final shot. He should have, uh, you know, superstar moment in that. But you got to make the right play. And in this situation, Propolich had had a really good game. He had just hit a big three. Like, Slovenia looked like they were down and out just a minute earlier in this game. They were down five with about 45 seconds left. 
Then you have Evan Fournier actually foul out of the game by committing an offensive foul. Slovenia comes back the other way, and Luka finds Propolic for a monster three, which actually cut the lead 290 to 89. So Propolic had just lifted them to this situation here. He was cooking a little bit, and Luka makes the right play. It just, you know, it just came down to a tremendous play from Batum here to block, uh, to get the block. Toby also had a great game for Slovenia. Dude's going to get, I'm convinced, he's going to get a camp invite from somebody. Mavericks already have five centers, so unless they do something on that front, and we can get into that in a different video here shortly maybe, but uh, unless they do something on that front, I honestly don't know that it's going to be Dallas because they've got a a log jam at that position right now. But he is absolutely, I think somebody is going to give him the opportunity. He's earned that opportunity 100%. He had 21 points in this game. 21 points when you're matching up with Gobert? Yeah, you're, you're going to get some opportunities. Great, great game for him there. Uh, for France... Evan Fournier, just absolute assassin at times. I mean, in that second half in particular, he was really, really cooking. I know the Knicks just spent a ton of money on him, but he's one of those guys that we didn't talk about a whole lot with Dallas, but there was certainly interest there. And that was one of those intriguing prospects. Not a prospect in terms of like, oh, he's got to develop and see what he can become. We, we kind of know what he is. But he was one of those intriguing names floating out there that I was interested in, just not really talking a whole lot about because I didn't see it as super likely. I thought more than likely Dallas was instead going to go the Hardaway re-sign, which they did. So, yeah, this was a, this was a really good back-and-forth game, two-point game, I think, at the half. Going into the fourth quarter, it's a six-point game. Just very, very good. France, France's defense in particular, I, no question, France is the best defensive team in these Olympics and it was enough to kind of bother Luca into a not so great shooting day France meanwhile kind of like Gobert what he's able to do for them it's not just the defense and the rebounding it's also his ability to set screens and create space for his guys France in the second half in particular started getting a lot of space off of those screens just as the physicality kind of wore on you kind of it's not that you get complacent or anything like that but you start to see France create more space, which their shooters take advantage of. And it put Slovenia in a really tough spot. Now, here's the thing, right? And this is a, a call out from Bobby Krella on Twitter. This game, the fact that Slovenia was in position where were it not for a incredible play for, from Batun, Slovenia goes to the gold medal game. The fact that they were in that position, despite the fact that France, when they led 90 to 85, they were out shooting Slovenia from three. France was 12 of 25, nearly 50%. Slovenia was nine of 29. That's a calling card for Slovenia. And it was not really holding for them in that case. They were getting drastically outshot. Then I say drastically, I know it's three makes, but still. Uh, then on free throws, France was 16 of 19, Slovenia 10 of 18, like not great. That's a lot to leave on the table in that regard where you should be in position to, if you're Slovenia, if you convert a little bit better in either of those areas, it's a different game. But for Slovenia to crawl and climb, scratch and claw back into this, I think is really impressive here. Another thing, another I, I was talking about uh, Propolic at the end of the game. He's... I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I think he might have been the one who drew the offensive foul as well. Someone feel free to correct me on that uh, from Fournier that set up that opportunity there. Luca records 18 assists. Let me pull up his final stat line here. Luca goes 16 points. He was 5 of 18 from the field, 2 of 9 from 3, 4 of 6 at the foul line. Uh, I think 10 or 11 rebounds and 18 assists, a steal and a block in that regard. So great, great game from Luca. But end of the day, it came down to the length and the athleticism as well in the second half as the shooting of France. France is a very, very good team. I can't say that enough. USA, 
no no reason to just assume they walk to a victory in the gold medal game. Would not surprise me in the least if France overcomes in that regard and you know continues to knock U.S. back. I know U.S. rallied strong after losing like between the exhibition games and then even the first game that actually mattered. U.S. lost three of four games at one point, which that, you know, it is what it is. It's when you lose also matters. But Slovenia suffers their first loss. They're in the bronze medal game. Uh, U.S. lost a game as well and lost even a couple exhibition games. Whole point is their exhibition. They don't count. They don't matter. But you, you kind of feel like, oh, which team is playing better right now? Oh, OK, cool. It is what it is, man. That's just the nature of the structure. And you can't uh, you can't complain about the rules after you've already been playing under them. Anyways, guys, that is it for my time on this video. If you haven't already, drop a like, leave a comment below, subscribe to the Dallas Prospect. And until next time, remember, every legend was once a prospect. Peace. From Prospect to Legend.